I remember the war as a trying time, but it minted heroes and leaders for our young state. Our next stop brings us to this sculpture named Serene Jade by famous sculptor and liberal aristocrat Dora Gordon in 1949. You see Elizabeth Choi in a relaxed pose, well warranted given the fact that she was a war hero with honours from Sarawak, Singapore and the British Empire. I even remember people calling her Gunner Choi when she served the auxiliary arm of the Singapore Volunteer Corps as second lieutenant. A great leader, she was also a volunteer nurse with the medical auxiliary and continued fighting for the cause, secretly sending food, medicine, money and messages to the soldiers and prisoners of war through the occupation. Unfortunately, she was caught, imprisoned and tortured for 200 days before being released. After the war, she was invited to England to recuperate and was bestowed with the Officer of the Order of the British Empire, OBE, for her war efforts. She even received the honour of having a private audience with Queen Elizabeth at St. James's Palace on 25th July. She then pursued her studies of domestic science and even taught at a London Council School before returning to Singapore to be nominated to the Legislative Council in 1951 as the only woman and served a full five-year term. Elizabeth eventually bowed out of politics believing she could do more for the country as a teacher and served as the first principal of the Singapore School for the Blind before returning to St. Andrew's Junior School where she first taught as an untrained teacher before the war. I can almost feel her loyalty, grace and spirit flowing through this modest bronze sculpture. Can you?